let's discuss how we can generate this plot. Continuing with the example from the previous section, a simple option to perform a simulation is using Euler's method. In this method, the initial rate of change of the simulated, uh, simulated variable, which is ti, it's ti is estimated and used to predict the value of that variable after some time period, that is a time step. Then this process is repeated for subsequent time steps. Euler's method is the simplest numerical method used to solve many differential equation initial value problems. Let's take a look how it can be applied to our example here. The idea is to choose a time step that is reasonable. In general, delta t is equal to the uh, uh, t nu, that's the end of the time step, minus t o, that's the time at the beginning of the time step. The variable we are trying to solve is the water temperature in the tank. Euler's method assumes that the rate of change for ti, the variable ti in this case, is constant during each time step. So dti, dt, the rate of change for the uh, ti at the beginning of the time step is approximately equal to delta ti divided by the time step delta t over the uh, uh, temperature, water temperature at the end of the time step minus the temperature at the beginning of the time step divided by the uh, time step. In a more familiar form, Ti at the new time, right, at the end of the time step equal to Ti at the beginning of the time step plus the rate of change at the beginning of the time step multiplied by the uh, time step, delta t. So let's perform an example calculation for a single time step. We will use the values from previous section with some uh, additional information here. Let's perform the first time step. So for this simulation, we're going to use a time step of 60 seconds, delta t equal to 60 seconds. That is an arbitrary choice. We can use other values if we want, but here we're going to use 60 seconds. For heater control, we'll define the low temperature set point to be 49.5 and the high temperature set point to be 50.5 degrees C we will turn the heater on at the beginning of the time step if Ti is less than the low temperature set point. And similarly, we will turn the heater off if Ti is greater than the high temperature set point. Otherwise, we will keep the same heater mode uh, from the previous time step means if it was on, if the temperature is within the uh, the two temperature set point, we'll keep the heater on if it was on before, and we'll keep it off if it was off before. Also, we will assume the heater status will remain unchanged during the time step. That means we will allow the temperature to go above the high temperature set point or below the low temperature set point during the time step. Okay, we will not change the status. Okay, now for the initial conditions, that means t equal to zero seconds at the beginning and ti, we will let it be 50 degrees C, the, uh, the temperature we try to maintain. For 
the surrounding temperature, the outdoor temperature, will use zero degree Celsius. That is the temperature we use when we perform an energy balance exercise. And I'll show you that again. For the heater, we will assume it's off. Okay, again, that's an arbitrary choice. So if it's off, W dot EL, the heater output would be zero watts at the beginning of the time step or for that time step. All right. So for this time step, for this time step, let's say T old, that's the beginning of the time step, is zero seconds. T new is equal to T old plus delta T. And that is T old, zero seconds, delta T, 60 seconds. So T new is 60 seconds. What about D T? DTI, T old, that's at the beginning of the time step, DT, the rate of change at the beginning of the time step. What is this? Well, remember we did the uh, energy balance exercise before. Using this equation, and MCP is the same. That's the water uh, property of water. Okay, so this uh, MCP here, M, 2000 kilogram CP, specific heat, 4181 joule per degree, sorry, joule per kilogram per degree C. For the heater output, we assume heater is off. So here, zero watt, and that was the case for this exercise. UA, 60 watt per degree C. Same here. Delta T, Ti minus TO. It was 50 minus zero for this exercise. And in this case, we use the same value. So Delta T is also 50. So at the end, we got the value for DT, DT minus 0 0.00036 degrees C per second. We will use this value. Therefore, DTI at the beginning of time step, DT that is equal to minus 0 0.00036 degrees C per second. So now we want to know what is Ti at the end of the uh, time step. So Ti at T new is equal to Ti at T old plus the rate of change multiplied by the time step. So it would be dt at t old, so dti at t old, dt multiplied by delta t. And that is equal, this, this term here is 50 degrees C plus dti t old, dt, this is, uh, okay, M minus 0 0.00036 degree C per second, and running out of space, multiplied 
60 seconds. Okay, 60 seconds. The result of this is going to be 49.978 degrees C. Okay, 49.978 degrees C. So you can check this number. Okay, so the model predicts okay the tank temperature at the end of the first time step to be 49.978 degrees c the same process could now be repeated for additional time steps this could include updating the outdoor uh, temperature to at some desired interval this figure here shows uh, provide the, the example out of temperature for an eight hour period. Based on the data provided, the result for a similar period of eight hours using delta T equal to 60 and updating the, the outdoor temperature each hour. As expected, the internal tank water temperature changes but stay within uh, the set point temperature range. Our first time, first time step calculation shows uh, temperature Ti is decreasing. So Ti decreases until a point just below 49.5. The simulation algorithm then sets the heater status to be, uh, to be turned on. So temperature start rising now. Okay, until it hits above 50.5. We can also plot heater output and heat loss for this 8 hour simulation. Initially, we set heater off, so no output, there's no output from heater. And Ti goes down here. Heater is turned on and stay on until, uh, until that Ti hits 50.5 again. So the cycle repeats. For the heat loss, Q dot L is Ua times delta T, where delta T is Ti minus To. You can see the heat loss rate. It's about uh, 4,000 here, or 4 kilowatts for this 8 hour period. So for the, the 8 hour, the simulation results indicate a total heat loss equal to about 32 kilowatt hour. Therefore, the total electricity consumption is also about 32 kilowatt hour. And if you, eat, if you add this uh, area under the red curve, okay, that is the total heater output and that again that is equivalent to the heat loss the total heat loss which is the area under this orange curve both has to be approximately the same so that at the end the water temperature is stay at the uh, 50 degrees celsius